Hello and welcome to another video from me, the blind journalist. Today's video is going to be about retinitis pigmentosa. Now this is one of the illnesses that I suffer from. It's one of the diseases that I, diseases that I have. Retinitis pigmentosa is basically there are light sensitive cells at the back of the eye which are called photoreceptors. And with retinitis pigmentosa, th through a period of time, over a period of time, these cells die away, which basically means that someone com becomes completely blind. Now, there's been a very a breakthrough in science, and uh, at the John Ratcliffe Hospital, there's been pioneering surgery, and what has happened is they've, they've created a, a microchip which has 1,500 electronic photo receptors, and is placed at the back of the eye underneath the retina and it's a very it's a four hour four hour long surgery and it's right next to the optic nerve which if touched or if 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 the chip was put just slightly in the wrong place it could lead to a lot of damage but a man has gone through with the surgery and it's been successful so it's very positive to hear that also, what I want to talk about today is is just visual impairment and disabilities in themselves. I know me, I'm visually impaired, and I'll tell you a bit more about my experience. Um, my illness was um, found in when I was in nursery. Um, it was like the the, nur the nursery teachers saw that I was, had something wrong with my eyes, and they informed my parents. We went to the hospital and doctors and things like that. And until two thousand and four, I was registered as visually impaired. But in 2004, I, I got changed and registered as a, a blind person simply because I'd, I, you know, of the illness that I have and possibly one day I will become completely blind. So I don't have enough vision to be to be classed as visually impaired. Now, in, in 2012, in January, I lost vision completely in my left eye. Now, before that, I had very good vision. Um, you know, I was able to play football, support other people and things like that. Now I'm, and now I'm unable to do those things because of, of the loss of vision and, and the fact that it's deteriorating. And it's quite tough, um, you know, going through that because if you're used to something and, and you're able to to do things and, and you're used to a certain way of life and suddenly that just completely goes, it is, it's, you know, hard. But I I had family support, I had people there that, that could help me and in, in myself I'm a very positive person and I, I never let anything stop me so... I didn't. I, it was difficult, but I didn't see it as as something to be afraid of. I carried on, and now I'm at university studying a, a bachelor of arts degree. So, if you are disabled or you know someone that is, just support them. You know, don't treat them or don't patronize them, because at the end of the day, they are a human being and they shouldn't be patronized. I mean, I've gone through being patronized, being bullied, being called names and things like that. But you don't let it affect you. You say just take it on the shoulders and carry on walking because that's what makes you a bigger and better person. So if you do know anyone that is disabled or, or has a visual impairment or anything like that, or you are yourself, if you've got any problems, don't worry about them because there's always someone that has something worse. And just be passionate. Use it to your advantage. That's what I've done. And I've succeeded and I, I aim to help people also succeed. So do your best. Don't let it, don't let it affect you. I know it's hard. But if you do... You know, want to get in touch with me and, and ask me a bit more about my experiences or talk to me about yours, come and, come and email me. The email address is theblindjournalist at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter at Sal9594. And subscri subscribe to my videos, follow me, and uh, keep in touch. Thank you for watching.